At the Democratic Party convention in Chicago, Kamala Harris was formally confirmed as the candidate for President of the United States. In her coronation speech, the politician promised to be a candidate for all Americans, support the middle class, and continue Biden's foreign policy, including on Ukraine and the Middle East conflict. However, the White House's support for Israel is not to everyone's liking. Several thousand pro-Palestinian activists chanted slogans for over two hours outside the building where the Democrats' convention was held, accusing Biden and Harris of war crimes. So who is Kamala Harris? And does she have the right to the presidential seat? Investigated by Evgeny Belusov. She is a student, a Komsomol member, an athlete. And finally, she is just a beauty. Alas, Kamala Harris will never receive such praise, but she has plenty of her own accolades. Prosecutor, Senator, the first female Vice President of the United States, and a candidate for the highest office in the country. She graduated from Howard University in Washington and earned a law degree from the University of California. She worked for a long time in the Homicide Department of Alameda, later transferring to San Francisco. The new job became a reality thanks to the patronage of a married mayor of this city, Brown, who admitted many years later that he helped her build her career through the bedroom. He helped so much that in 2003, Kamala became the district attorney. It was then that the infamous George Soros noticed the girl and made an interesting offer, which she could not, and most likely did not want to refuse. In 2011, Harris became the attorney general of the entire state. Under Soros, Harris became a real zealot in uniform. In one case, cocaine disappeared without a trace. In another, those accused of pedophilia escaped punishment. An elite strip club caught providing brothel services also went unpunished. Harris was also accused of facilitating the trafficking of minors. Now it is clear why the politician is so supportive of migrants. You can make good business on them. After the scandal with abuses by priests, she did not initiate a single case. Of the 50 largest cities in America, San Francisco was the only one where not a single criminal case was initiated. She covered everything up. This could have continued, but thanks to Soros, or rather his money, in 2016, Harris became a senator from California. Gratitude was not long in coming. The newly minted politician actively promoted the Minnesota Freedom Fund owned by Soros. The organization posted bail for arrested criminals and rioters. So to speak, she didn't abandon her own. And lo and behold, in 2021, Biden appointed Harris as vice president. But all the consequences, she failed the task set. Programs to reduce the flow of refugees only increased it. The green agenda only raised more questions. When we invest in clean energy, electric vehicles, and reduce the population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. Western media called her speeches word salad, and her manner of laughing adds a special charm to Harris's performances. Donald Trump even nicknamed the vice president Laughing Kamala and said she laughs like a madwoman. However, the politician is also known for her split personality. She actively manipulates her racial identity like a chameleon. Among Indians, she is Indian. Among African Americans, she is African American. I didn't know she was black until a few years ago when she suddenly became black. By the way, in her biography, Harris emphasizes her life in a poor family and the difficulties related to interracial relationships. However, she omits an important fact. On her Jamaican side, she is a descendant of Irish slave owner Gordon Brown. And just the other day, an interesting document appeared on the X network, the politician's birth certificate. It shows that Harris was born in Jamaica. If this information is accurate, Harris is not eligible to run for the presidency, as according to US law, the president must be either born in the country or have parents with American citizenship. Evgeny Belusov, Nikita Makotkin, Dmitry Ostertak, News Agency.